What's up guys, welcome to the vlog today. Uh, we're gonna be in the kitchen with Banoi and Caitlin. She's gonna teach her how to make boom real. Woo, it's gonna be good. You guys don't wanna miss this episode. today. Mang's here and she's teaching me how to make it. Green onion and cilantro all chop up for garnish. And this is tito to put on top of the bowl also when we eat. What's tito in English? Pur I don't know. Purple basil? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Shiso or purple basil. Shiso or yeah. purple basil, yeah. Just getting all the little prep work out of the way. Chopping up some garlic. And this is going to go in the pan with shallots, a little bit of oil, and what else? Tomato. I've already taught the other daughter-in-law how to make this and she succeeded it well and she loved it and now it's the, this yeah. daughter-in-law. Which daughter-in-law will make it better? Dun, dun, dun. Is that even a real question? I mean, come on. It's obviously Shelly. <laughs> no, this because she practiced a lot. She failed uh, the one time and she called me and she come over and she learned again and she said, okay, succeeded. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about uh, the balls. I'm nervous about the balls. Don't be nervous about the balls. You will just see it. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god, you can buy it. What? I bought soap. Is that the wrong kind? No, it's you the... just chop it up, right? We got we got canned crab meat. Not sponsored by Clover Leaf. Though chunk. you want to hit me up. You get it chunk. I got it chunk. Yeah. Instead of like the little, what is it, the other style? Flakes? Very um, fine, uh, like meat chopped. But that's how I get my tuna too. I get the chunk. I don't get the little runoff tuna stuff. Tuna is uh, different. <laughs> it's not different. It's the same. This is what you need right here. Crab meat. If you have fresh crab meat, that's awesome. Sometimes they have like frozen already like chopped type style. If not, use the can. Then, this is it right here. Spicy crab paste. Boom, real cool. Yeah. Shouts are getting diced up. We got some cilantro and green onions here. We got tomatoes washed, ready to go. You need some ground pork. All right, ladies. Really excited about this. Are you? Oh yeah. Why are you excited? Cause it's food and I love Cause food. Cause you don't have to cook, you just get to eat. <laughs> so now the one time you get to eat. <laughs> so we're making the, the crab and pork balls that go into the Boon Rio. So we're gonna take one package of the pork minced pork, put it in, mm -hmm. and then two cans of the crab, but not all the liquid, right? Not all the liquid, keep it. It's good for keep it. it to go in the broth. Okay, so we're gonna keep the, the juice out of the crab meat and leave a little bit in, like that? Yeah. Okay, this goes in. You remember when I told uh, yeah. Shelly? Yeah, because that was Shelly's mistake, and yeah. then balls fall Too apart. Much, yeah. We're gonna do one can, one can of the spicy crab paste. Boop, 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 boop. Nice, no spoon necessary. And then three eggs into that same bowl. And the specific of this cloth. Then we're gonna add in lots of ground pepper. Some people will use also uh, dry shrimp and they soak it and they grind it and they mix it in there also. This is up to you, your taste. One heaping tablespoon of cornstarch or potato starch into that mixture. Two cans of crab meat, one package of minced pork, three eggs, one full can of spicy crab paste. We have lots of pepper, green onions, cilantro, and potato starch. Yeah. Yeah. So then we're gonna mix. So now it's time to make the broth. We're gonna put a little bit of sunflower oil into the bottom One of the pan. Tablespoon. One tablespoon, says Mang. We're gonna add shallots and garlic. Now that the shallots and the garlic has like a fragrance to it, we're going to add the tomatoes. Wow. The tomatoes almost give the garlic and shallots a deglaze. Okay, so now do the broth in. Now, the broth in. You can make the broth with uh, bones and, uh, 
and uh, dry shrimp in advance. But this is in the splurge moment, so we're using chicken broth. Yep, it works. So adding two and a half of this. Yeah. Like my mom said, if you're gonna do like your pork bone and maybe like shrimp shell broth, then you have that going for like four or five hours. Or but we can do that on the next show. Today, it's all about the balls. What do you think? So easy? It's so easy. I'm so excited. I'm literally going to be making this like once a week. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe not once a week. Maybe once every two weeks. So I've added two and a half cartons of the chicken broth. I'm going to add the juice of the crab from the canned crab that I saved. And then I'm going to add one cup of water. Now we wait until it comes to a boil, and then we'll put the mixture of the meat and crab in. Aww, who's a cute little puppy dog? Who's my little buddy boy? Are you a little monkey butt? Are you a little monkey butt? Yeah. 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 Guys, I, I still love you even though you left me and went to Vietnam for a year. The original lip talker. I'm the original lip talker. Okay, okay, okay. Let's make some crab balls. Okay, so we have the crab mix by the broth that we just made. So we're gonna form to drop it spoon by spoon. Ah. Like this. Ooh. Okay, so G gently, okay. gently drop like this bit. Yeah. And don't stir it. Just leave it like that. that? Yeah. And it has to be gentle, boy, or else it's gonna break all apart. Okay. I've got the touch, hey man? Yeah, okay. Yes. And I was just taught another method. Scoop it off the spoon. That's right. Into the broth. Form. And scoop. Last oh. couple balls look like you're pro. Handling them pretty good. Had a little scare there. There was a lot of green onions floating to the top, which may have meant that the balls weren't sticking together, but then just check one and it looks like we're okay. And some people put the fried tofu in there also. Ah, that's right. Yeah. They fry the tofu crispy and then they put it in. Do you ever do that, man? I don't like it. Ah, okay. I did it once or twice uh, before and I didn't like it, so I stopped. Why? What didn't you like about it? The texture or the, yeah. it made it too oily? Or? No, the tofu doesn't do anything. It's just like more protein white. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, mom, would you say that that level of broth boiling is okay? Yeah. More or less? That's, That's perfect? perfect. Yeah. That's yeah. a very low simmer. Yes. Or uh, else the balls will break apart. Oh yeah, nailed it! Yeah, I want to try. I wanna... So good. I want to try. I want to try. Okay, I'm gonna eat a piece of crab. Ooh. I'm so confident in it, so I don't even have to taste. I knew it. <laughs> wow, that was so easy too. Oh, that's good. So we're just getting the garnish ready for the bumbrio. And basically, shifting that means thin ribbons. So the best way to do it is like you saw Caitlin there. Stack up your shiso leaves, or in Vietnamese, the tito, which is the furbo basil, and your mint together. And then uh, roll it up tight, and thinly slice it down till you get fine ribbons. Chiffonades. Chiffonades. Now I'm gonna assemble a bowl for Brian, so I'll put about as much as I think he will probably eat, which is that. Look at that broth with the meatball. Nice. Nice, delicious, well formed, stuck together meatballs. Shelly, check oh, it out. Oh, that's nice. Take notes. Wow. Now that we have the boon and the balls and the broth and the tomatoes, everything in there, we're gonna add the accoutrements, which is cilantro, green onions, 
lettuce. Yeah. One end, this and one, one corner. One corner. And this and another and corner. This and another corner. And a squeeze of lime. And then of course, sriracha. Uh, yikes. Not so bad. And there you have it. Bowl of Bunryo taught by Mang to her daughter in law. You wanted to say favorite daughter in law, haven't you? Look at that bowl. Smells delicious. Wow, 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 wow. Yay! Oh, did you guys hear that? It looked just like I made it. That's compliments right there. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That tastes wow, babe. Okay. Mm. You nailed it, Diana. Caitlin. Yay! Let's try one of these meatballs right here, crab meatballs. Yum, look at that amazingness. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty? Yeah. Um, my mom said it's supposed to be firm like a meatball, but not like an Italian meatball, you know, like that thick, it's gotta be a little loose and light and carry to it, which it is. So, wow, so good. I nailed it? Oh my god. Yay. Mmm. Oh man. Wow. It's hot. It's, it's hot. It's hot. Check out this meatball. It's like, like it's so good with a chunk of crab in it. I love the crab pieces. So flavorful. Nailed a, it. A plus? A plus? A plus. Yeah. yeah. Yay! You haven't even tasted it yet. I knew it. I don't have to. He's my taster. He knows what it's like. Babe, you really nailed that. Did I? Yeah. It was awesome. so easy too. It looked really easy. No, it was really hard. It was super hard and I still nailed it, so. <laughs> Next time we're doing it with homemade broth though, right? Yes, I'm gonna make bone broth from scratch and I'll take you guys along for the ride on Insta. Follow us at Fully Rise Fam. Okay guys, thank you for joining us for Cooking with Banoi and Caitlin, Boom Real episode. If you liked it, leave us a thumbs up, a comment, a share, a like. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for coming along guys. This has been, Oh, well, yeah, we are